now in previous lectures of this nuclear chemistry we discuss about certain topics that is uh, nuclear weapon why nuclear weapon uh we have to make it more precisely it is very difficult for uh, making of nuclear weapon because technologically very high skill is required in order to prepare that now see uh, there are certain problems that uh, when we are talking of nuclear weapon say uh, we can rise up temperature even more than lakh degree celsius but the impact of nuclear weapons are tremendous they not only destroyed the existing population but they are having effect on next generations also in short i may say that genetic pool is damaged because of nuclear weapon say whatever the genetic disorders are there in particular community say for example if nuclear weapon uh, nuclear bomb was tested directly on hiroshima and nagasaki then the people of hiroshima and nagasaki suffered say many of them were killed out many were injured but those who survived their genetic uh, problems were transmitted to next generations also and this way human genetic pool is disturbed because of this type of nuclear bombs and so one must avoid it no doubt one may say attack is best method of protection defense yes it is true but the impact of these genetic uh, of these nuclear weapons are very very bad and therefore one should avoid this as far as possible Uh, touchwood but till date only two nuclear bombs were exploded directly on human uh, and uh, to the surprise that is given by america or usa and still uh, usa is saying that we have to fight against terrorism if you check out this is actually terrorism what is the rule of war that only defense people should get impact of the war civilized or the civilians should not are troubled but here america tried out usa tried out bomb directly on people of hiroshima and nagasaki so this is the cruel most thing in human history even i may say that it is worse than chengiz khan if you are saying chengiz khan is cruel even halaku the next mongol ruler or general of uh chengiz khan he was also we should consider as more uh, more kind in nature than america because america uh, tested out this bomb directly on uh cities without giving any intimation without giving any notice uh, the question is that whether japanese were cruel or not that is different thing what japan carried out in china that was different thing but uh, what america carried out why i am saying again and again america because people are considering america as most uh, advanced nation and still they carried out this type of thing so this is something really problematic part but they carried out now <clears throat> can we use this power for peaceful work and answer is that yes we can do that say uh, let us check out the reaction again this is uranium 92 235 which is bombarded with slow moving neutron you are aware neutron is given by 0 1 it will give various products out of that prominent product i am giving here they are barium krypton plus 2 to 3 slow moving neutrons are produced plus tremendous energy is liberated this is nuclear reaction what is the thing that this 2 to 3 slow moving neutrons are released in this reaction they are going to hit new uranium so in short i may say this is uranium which is bombarded by this slow moving neutron 
which will give you one atom of barium another atom of krypton and uh, here i am showing three neutrons these three neutrons are intended to attack on three different uranium atoms in short these three will give me three three more neutron and chain proceeds here they will find out new target of uranium and like that so one explosion of atom will give you three neutron this three neutron will explode three new atom they will in turn explode nine new atoms then 27 and so on this way reaction completes if critical mass that is minimum mass required to carry out explosion is available then the explosion may take place in millionth part of second so even much more time is taken by me to describe this reaction even less time is required to complete this reaction now uh, this will liberate tremendous energy in short time what is explosion ultimately tremendous energy is liberated in short time that is explosion now i want explosion uh, sorry i don't want explosion i want energy but released in slow manner and for that purpose i have to control this reaction say these extra neutrons are there i don't want so can i control out reaction in order to control this reaction scientists assumed that we have to use here neutron absorber material if neutrons are absorbed whatever the extra neutrons are there they are absorbed then the reaction can be controlled out instead of chain reaction we can give you uh, give us small uh, energy per unit time and for that purpose they are carrying out this type of reaction we are calling controlled chain reaction in order to control that the alloy of uh, boron and cadmium or rods of boron and cadmium are used these two materials are having capacity to absorb extra neutrons or neutrons by changing out number of this type of material uh, we can control the speed of uh, reaction also so can we control out this type of reaction chain reaction answer we are getting now yes we can control out this type of chain reaction but uh, in order to control that chain reaction we require rods of boron and cadmium now by controlling this uh, speed of reaction that means we can slow down the reaction we are getting good amount of energy keep in mind uh, if we have one metric ton that means thousand kilogram of anthracite anthracite is name of coal which is having highest amount of carbon in case of coal that is very good quality of coal is that is called as anthracite Suppose I am burning out 100, uh, sorry, 1 metric ton, that is 1000 kilogram of anthracite. Whatever energy is liberated, that is we are considering as unit here, then we have to burn 100 metric tons of anthracite. Means 100 times more than that, that much energy is liberated simply by using 1 gram uranium 235 this is the effectiveness of using uranium uh, or say using nuclear fission reaction so in order to burn 100 metric ton coal imagine what amount of oxygen is consumed again uh, the important thing is that uh, anthracite is having good amount of carbon but not 100% carbon as it is coal it is bound to contain sulfur so along with carbon dioxide sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxides are also produced so it is not clean source again carbon will uh, it is solid fuel so along with carbon dioxide amount of carbon monoxide the poisonous gas is also produced and therefore burning of coal is not clean source of energy whereas this is 
initially considered as clean source of energy now see uh, how actually nuclear reactor works hmm? again i am explaining you schematically actual diagram may differ and actual technology also may differ just in order to get idea how it works this is reactor part reactor means what reaction we discuss that boron and boron and cadmium rod etc they are placed over here now uh, here there is inlet and outlet for molten sodium imagine this is coiled pipe this is a uh, water so this pipe is thick pipe so radiation will not escape from that uh, this sodium uh, molten sodium metal is used over here you are aware that sodium is having melting point 80 degree celsius so it is having molten sodium it is passed into reactor so heat is collected by this sodium and then this sodium is pumped out simply into this container where this container is having water this is boiler actually and hot sodium metal uh, is circulated through these pipes so that water is boiled over here and then by using that pressure we are using generator or turbines turbines are moved because of this type of high pressurized steam so ultimate thing is that if i am saying it is thermal electricity then in that case we are not using this sodium metal instead of that we are using some burner over here may be possible we can use wastage gases we can use naphtha or we can use any other thing that is used over here in order to heat this and make water boil and vapors vapors are produced but now we are checking out or say burner means what not necessary gas burner we can use coal also for that so instead of that we are using nuclear reaction and then molten sodium is taken out and this is boiled on vapors we are burning uh, that uh, on vapors we are running out turbines and because of motion in turbine electricity is produced rest of part is part of physics so this way generator is uh, there on basis of nuclear power so this way one can generate electricity